card tricks using a gaff pack is the invisible deck. The effect is that any freely named card called for by a spectator is the only card found reversed face down in a face up spread of cards. Now, the way the deck works is basically like this. All the backs of the cards are treated with a roughing fluid which helps them stick together in pairs. Okay? Now the spades are paired up with the hearts and the diamonds are paired up with the clubs. Also, each pair adds up to 13. So the nine is with the four, the five is with the eight, and so on and so on. So in order to find the spectator's card, I would need to do a little mental calculation, which involves remembering the suits, the right card on the reverse of the right pair, and which way round to bring out the cards from the box. Now all this under the pressure of uh, uh, the moment of performance is prone to mistakes. Now I never use the invisible deck much, so when I do use it, I find this standard method of locating the spectator's card a little bit difficult. So I have my own setup, and this is how I set the cards up so I can locate the card that the spectator calls for. First of all, I keep all the pairs so they still add up to 13. 3 and 10, 5 and 8, 9 and 4, and so on. But I completely forget about the suits. All I'm interested in is odd and even numbers. I put all the odd numbers on one side, and I put all the even numbers on the other side. Okay? I now put a black case of spades on my odd side face up into the card case, and this is a very easy memory peg. It's a very easy card to remember. And I put any red even card on the even side. I always use the four of hearts. Now all I have to do is have a spectator name their card. And all I need to do now is to work out if their card is an odd or even number card. And bring that side of the pack out of the box facing me. Jacks are 11, queens are 12. And I'll explain the aces and the kings in a moment. So for example... If they call for an odd card, say the three of diamonds, I bring the